We look first at Schumacher, currently fourth on the points, but the only track on the tour where he's not raced in a final round. Little bio blast on Schumacher. Made his top field debut at the 96 U.S. Nationals, and he lost in the final round to Corey McLenathan. And he goes side by side with Antron Brown here. Only driver in the top two of history to win six straight championships. And he's a top fuel all time wins leader with 63 or he has two wins this season. So Antron who's alongside and won the pole here last year but he lost in second round facing Sean Langdon. G-Man? Well, this is the third event now for Antron and his team to be driving this car. It was a new car as of St. Louis. Of course, there's been no testing along the way. He felt like they were about a round behind everybody last weekend. Now confident that they are where they want to be. His goal, qualify in the top five this weekend and then go rounds Sunday. Ant was number one coming into this session. He's now fourth. Schumacher is fifth. out of it. Antron, wow, 378, 321 miles Man. an hour. He is now number one. I think they got that new chassis figured out, huh? I'd say wow. so. Wow, look at that. That's just magnificent. How about Brian Karate, Mark Oswald, the entire Matco team. Antron Brown just wheeling that thing right down the track there. 282 miles per hour at the eighth mile. Coupled it up with 321 at the finish line. That's in 1,000 feet, folks. Take a look at Tony Schumacher. He went in that tire shake right up into tire smoke. But boy, Antron, he had all the candles lit there. Nice pass. And that's tied, by the way, for the sixth fastest speed ever. And of course, both ends of the track record easily for Antron Brown. So the top fuel standings after a most interesting session on Friday night look this way with the ants at number one, followed by Doug Coletta. Brandon Bernstein, Sean Langdon, Tony Schumacher did not get down the track. and He sits fifth with the 12 times carrying over. Look at that, Larry Dixon already in that number nine spot. Morgan Lucas in the 10th. Don Lagana in that final 12 spot with a 398 elapsed time. And those who are not yet in this field, remembering that we take and carry over only the top 12 from Friday. And how about Antron Brown when he gets down to the far end and wow. That was a spectacular run. That shows if Dixon had dominance last week, maybe Antron does this week. Look at the scoreboard and the big numbers. Yeah. <laughs>